ever feel like you've lost your mojo? Hmm. Every day, millions of Queenslanders make decisions that affect all aspects of their life based on their beliefs, attitudes and values. It's these things that we commonly refer to as our mindset. To help explain why mindset matters, I'm meeting health and happiness expert Claire Massingham. We've all heard the term of losing your mojo, but can you tell us, Claire, where can you find it? Well, first of all, it's certainly not anywhere out there. Your mojo is within you and we can tap into it at any time. But what happens is when you're feeling overwhelmed or stressed or anxious, it actually shuts down your brain and then you find it really hard to get the energy or the space in your mind to be able to tap into it. But if you can cultivate a positive mindset and instead of focusing on all of those negative things, you can focus on just some of the things that are already good in your life, and then you can start to get the energy and the space to be able to tap into your mojo when life is a little bit tough or it's not going as planned. So the term mind over matter, it's true then? Absolutely, yeah, it is so true. Mindsets are basically neural pathways that have been laid down in our brain over many years and they're made up of our beliefs and our values and our experiences. And we travel these well-worn neural pathways often because they feel comfortable and you usually achieve the outcome that you want. But sometimes that outcome can be not beneficial to your health and your happiness. Particularly if you're a person that gets stuck in that that worry and that negativity, do you, can yes. you sometimes relate to that? Like if I'm feeling deflated or anxious or, or negative, can I turn that around? Yes, yeah, yes you can. So changing your mindset is a choice that you have and science has proven that our brains are actually pliable. And so we have the choice every day to create some new neural pathways. And the way I say to people, I encourage people to do that, it's like opening up a metaphorical happiness bank account. <laughs> so it's just like your rainy day savings account, but instead of regularly putting money into it, um, the currency is gratitude or it's helping other people or it's doing things that bring you joy. If you put deposits daily into your happiness account, you can start to change that around and cultivate that positive mindset. So you start to look for the things that are going to bring you some joy. And as soon as you evoke positive emotions, you change your brain for the better and you work at your optimal level. What role do emotions play in a positive mindset? So it's really important that we are aware of the role that our emotions play in our mindset and we need them because they drive us into action but we have to let them not railroad us all the time. Trevor Hendy is just an awesome power machine in action. Trevor Hendy knows all about rewiring the mindset. He's a six-time world champion Ironman, an international kayak champion and former professional surf lifesaver. Back in 2000, Trevor was at the top of his game. Takes the Open Ironman Championship of Australia in the best form I've ever seen. But announced his shock retirement just prior to the Sydney Olympics. All of the cues were, this should be the best time of your life. You're going to come to this twilight of your sporting career, at the you know, height of your strength and everything else. And you know, after the World Championships in 1998, I was paddling down the creek and I saw a friend of mine paddling past the other way. It's just a very slow recovery paddle. This is my friend Robin. She paddled past the other way and I said, Robin! She was like, Trev! You know, and we waved to each other and as she paddled off the other way, oh, I'm paddling solo off down the canals with no one around. I'm going, oh, it's great to see Robin, she looks good, da 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 da. And then I was all alive and excited from seeing Robin. And then as I paddled, it just diminished, 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 back to training. And then I came, my friend Dave came around the corner and he's like, Trev, I was like, Dave, good to see you, mate. And he's like, hey, Trev, and he, off he paddles right the other way. And I was like, oh, it's good to see Dave in my mind. And then as I paddled down further, further, I diminished right down. And then I, for the rest of the paddle, I paddled around going, what's happening to me? Something's just shifted. I sat on the, on the creek bed for about an hour afterwards and just burst into tears. I went, I'm done. I don't want to win anymore. I don't want to beat anybody else. I want to help them. And I did a press conference and the line fell out of my mouth. You know, i am had enough of chasing my own gold medal. I want to help other people chase theirs. And that's exactly what Trevor now does, running mentoring workshops and courses. So what's his advice on successfully changing mindset for a happier, healthier life? 
For successful behaviour change, the number one thing we have to do is change the way we're relating to things. So the way we're viewing things. So if my mind keeps telling me to avoid the situation, but that situation is the best thing for me to grow, then I'm gonna keep falling short because I'm gonna avoid the very place I need to be. But when you stop and you go, I want to improve my own well-being," and you go on a little journey and you know that the primary part of it is to follow my own truth and follow my own intuition and find what works for me. When you start on that path, it's those little aha moments when you have a self-realization and it's almost like the penny drops. Everything aligns and you go, oh, I can see. I couldn't see before and I can see now why I was stuck in that situation for so long or why I react like that or what's holding me back or what I need to stop doing or whatever it is. That aha moment doesn't just come with a realization and a wonderful doorway into what I need to do next. It actually comes with this incredible feeling. It's like something happens inside of you where you go, oh, I do work, I am okay, I have realised something, oh, I just need to change that and I can be better. It's like it just increases our belief in ourselves and also our belief that there is something special about life. So the next time you feel like you've lost your mojo, remember the tools throughout this episode and you'll soon realise it's a lot closer than you think. <laughs> <laughs>